To survive the Holocaust, you needed two things, luck and resilience. A new book tells the story of nearly an entire family who survived the historic tragedy and what can be learned from their experience. Six million Jews died during the Holocaust, including Hermann Klein of Hungary. His son, a survivor, Jean Klein, praises how the granddaughter researched and wrote those final moments step by step. And a really touching part of the book is she knows that my father is heading for the gas chamber. So as soon as she gets off the train, he gets off the train, she is with him all the way to the gas chamber holding his hand. And while Jill Klein imagined her grandfather's journey, the rest of the story is how the other family members survived, which prompted the title of the book, They Got the Water, Not the Gas. They were all alive. There were four survivors, all alive. That they all survived was a miracle anyway. And my grandmother survived too, which was phenomenal, but I didn't start interviewing people until after she had died. Um, but I had four informants, four people who were there. And that's part of why I decided to do the book. I thought, you know, this, it's possible that this is unique. For Jean Klein, the real story may have started the day the Russians opened the gates to Auschwitz-Birkenau. I know my father died, but I have absolutely no idea what happened to my mother and two sisters. What happened if they would come home and the father is dead and the son is dead? That would be horrendous for them. So I, I want to stay alive. And the other thing was, if the Nazis kill me, they win. And if I survive, I win. So this double thingy here, on a daily basis, I told myself and I went to sleep. And then I woke up, I told myself the same thing, I'm going to see this day through. And that helped me, I think. And luck had a lot to do with it. And his daughter, the author, says the quality of resilience was key for her father and for many survivors of the Holocaust. You know, full of life and started their lives over, and they're amazing. And I think that's something that's kind of been missed in the literature, because I think the literature has focused on um, the lasting trauma, which is true for a lot of people, too. Um, but we've missed sort of the resilience side. And one thing that's always struck me about my dad is just how positive he is, how resilient he is. And a decision that he made on the day he was liberated that he wasn't going to give them another piece of himself. The gates of the concentration camps were open nearly 70 years ago, and the survivors are fewer and fewer, making collecting their stories even more important. We Got the Water by Jill Klein tells the story of how luck and resilience helped her family survive the Holocaust. The story of the Klein family and the story of many others still has the power to inform and inspire. This is Priscilla Huff for JN1 in Washington.